The U.S. Navy has christened its third and final Zumwalt-class guided missile destroyer USS Lyndon B. Johnson DDG-1002. The ceremony was organized yesterday by the General Dynamics Bath Ironworks Shipyard in Bath, Maine. DDG-1002 is named in honor of U.S. President Lyndon B. Johnson, who served in office from 1963 to 1969. This will be the first ship to bear his name. Linda Johnson Robb and Lucy Johnson, the two daughters of the former president, served as the ship's sponsors. The ship is christened after its launch in December 2018. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why USS Lyndon B. Johnson is one of the most lethal warships in the world. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank or aircraft and three days of premium account. The Zumwalt class is a multi-role class that's designed for secondary roles of surface warfare and anti-aircraft warfare and originally designed with a primary role of naval gunfire support. It was intended to take the place of battleships in meeting a congressional mandate for naval fire support. The Zumwalt class of warships are the largest and technically most sophisticated guided missile destroyers of the U.S. Navy. The ship is designed around its two advanced gun systems, their turrets and magazines, and unique long-range land attack projectile LRLAP, ammunition. The U.S. Navy initially intended to build 32 of these ships, but due to cost overruns, the number of vessels to be constructed was reduced to three. USS Lyndon B. Johnson is 610 feet in length and has a beam of 87 feet, draft of 27 feet, and displaces around 16,000 tons. Though large, it appears much smaller to radar because of its stealth design. Stealthy design is mostly attributed to warplanes, but Zumwalt class brings the stealth to a major warship. Lyndon B. Johnson features a unique wave-piercing tumble-home hull. The hull slopes inward from above the waterline, which is very different from traditional hulls which move outwards at a hard angle. The design significantly reduces the radar cross-section since the slope makes the hull return very less radar signal that's directed to it when compared to a traditional hull. This makes the ship harder to detect and target. Zumwalt is the first class of warship to feature all-electric propulsion. Lyndon B. Johnson consists of an all-electric drive with an integrated power system. The ship is powered by two Rolls-Royce main turbine generators, two Rolls-Royce auxiliary turbine generators, two 34.6 megawatt induction motors enabling it to reach speeds of up to 30 plus knots. The electric propulsion system has many advantages. The system eliminates the need for the drive shaft and many other heavyweight components. This not only enables easier maintenance but also reduces the acoustic signature of the warship, making it harder to detect by sonars. Importantly, the system generates 58 megawatts of additional reserve power, which allows the legroom for future upgrades like integrated laser weapons and railguns. USS Lyndon B. Johnson uses extensive automation. For example, the vessels of this class have an automated cargo handling system. The automation reduces crew complement that's required to run the ship. USS Lyndon B. Johnson requires a minimum complement of 130 personnel, which is less than half needed by similarly sized warships. This will reduce operational costs as well as enable stocking more weapons, which could be crucial in a war scenario. Lyndon B. Johnson has two 155 mm caliber advanced gun systems to execute long-range artillery strikes at the range of more than 100 kilometers. Currently, the guns are lacking ammunition. 
The land attack projectile LRLAP, that was developed for the purpose was rejected because of the very high cost of $1 million per shell. The U.S. Navy is yet to select a replacement, but it's already evaluating multiple options. One of the potential options is the HVP or hypervelocity projectiles. U.S. Navy has recently tested it from Arleigh Burke class destroyer USS Dewey. To know more, please refer to video on the above card. Lyndon B. Johnson also has 80 Mark 57 cells protected by Peripheral Vertical Launch System PVLS. The PVLS is designed to reduce the chances of the risk of loss of the entire missile battery or even the entire ship in case of the magazine explosion. Mark 57 vertical launch tubes are larger than the Mark 41 cells found on most American warships like Arleigh Burke class destroyers or Ticonderoga class cruisers. The system consists of pods of VLS cells that are placed in the outer shell of the ship's superstructure. The outer shell is built with thin steel, whereas the inner shell has thick steel. This design configuration directs any forces of explosion outwards, reducing the chances of crippling damage. The important part is that each of these cells is capable of accommodating about five different missiles, which include SM-1, SM-2, SM-6 missiles, land attack and future anti-ship variant of Tomahawk and ESSM. So, USS Lyndon B. Johnson can go to a mission armed with different weapons payload depending on the scenario. SM-1 is a medium-range surface-to-air missile SAM, with a secondary role as an anti-ship missile. It has a range of 167 kilometers and a speed of Mach 3.5. SM-2 is an upgrade of SM-1 with an increased range of 185 kilometers and a better sensor. SM-6 is meant for anti-air warfare with a range of 240 kilometers and a speed of Mach 3.5. SM-6 can also function as a high-speed anti-ship missile. Tomahawk land attack missile is a long-range, all-weather subsonic cruise missile. It has a maximum range of 2,500 kilometers. U.S. Navy has given a contract to Lockheed Martin, the manufacturer of Tomahawk, to develop a maritime strike Tomahawk which will play the role of the long-range anti-ship missile. Each VLS cell can also be quad-packed with RIM-162 Evolved Sea Sparrow Missiles ESSM. That means a maximum theoretical load of 320 ESSM missiles is possible. The ESSM is designed to protect ships from attacking missiles and aircraft. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and Kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.